And new video from Chopper 5 shows inversion in the Salt Lake Valley not quite as bad as yesterday. Yeah, yep. It's actually pretty good when you oh, look at it there. Well, nice now in Cache Valley, people there are experiencing uh, unique air pollution in the country. New specialist Mike Anderson has a look at why they consistently rate number one for their levels of ammonia in the air. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, it's often referred to as uh, cows and cars, although it's a bit of a overgeneralization. But still, the reason why it happens is the same reason why the Cache Valley often has some of the worst air in the country. And that's because the valley here is surrounded by mountains on all sides and just really a big bowl that keeps on collecting pollution. The Cache Valley also has a high concentration of agriculture based pollution that really comes from more than just the cows, but all the animals, fertilizer and other products. And those numbers are frequently highest in the country, not because we have more agriculture here, but rather that the bowl of the Cash Valley keeps collecting and concentrating that pollution. The upside of all that, according to Dr. Randall Martin, an associate research professor at Utah State University, is that it doesn't seem to do as much damage as the industrial and auto pollution most of us are used to. More of an irritant and an interference. Um, it's just like, say, the least toxic of a lot of things that particles are made up of. So, but it's still, like I say, still a particle. It's still getting down into your lungs. It's still interfering with your oxygen exchange. And Martin points out that even on days like today where we've seen an improvement, it's important to note that pollution is still bad for us. In fact, he says the damage uh, often goes beyond sort of the lungs and the respiratory system, but getting into the bloodstream affecting many other areas, including, you know, physical, even mental health. So carpool, drive less, and uh, take your workouts indoors. Mike Anderson, Live at 5.